Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So on today's episode of the lab, a few things we're going to go over to get this process and get this build going for the year is we have the three beautiful display tanks, 60 gallons each, and we have our custom made 30 gallon sumps below. So as I was building, I got a few things done here. So we got full glass rimless, beautiful. It's nice to have the rimless tanks. It's really a really nice design to it. Um, I custom built some acrylic overflow boxes in the back. So we're going to have two double overflows going to our sumps, inch and a quarter piping and then we're going to have half inch uh, return lines from our from our sump up through and we're going to come through the side here and we're going to have a directional head to get lots of flow because it's very important we get lots of flow in these tanks so we don't have any uh, dead spots so LGs and stuff can start growing or debris. We want to make sure we have lots of great water flow in those tanks. We'll have to really set them up. So we're going to have a few unboxing episodes what um, equipment we're going to be putting on these tanks as well is very important. So these are the tanks guys and this is what we're going to be doing for a year. We're going to set these tanks all up. We're going to do all the products we're going to put on there. But the first thing before we can even get to what products we're going to put in these tanks is first we have to get the tanks plumbed. We've got to make sure it's going to hold water. I'm going to show you step by step um, all the piping we're going to use, all the tools we're going to need to do a complete job. Because what we're going to do is we have to make each tank identical. Because there's going to be a different process halfway down the road what we're, these tanks are going to turn into and what we're going to do. Tanks with lots of beautiful corals and fish from around the world and watch them take off and grow for over a year. So it's going to be a really great process guys. So we have to get this plumbing done. So on our next episode we're going to do plumbing. What piping we're going to use, why we're going to use it and what techniques we need. So we've got to make all three perfectly identical. So we're going to do that together. We're going to do all the piping together. Then after we get all the piping together we're going to start with doing the aquascaping. One of the hardest things to do with aquascaping is never perfect. Myself with my other tanks, you get it in there, you get it all set up, and you're like, I don't like the looks of it after you sit back and look at it. You're always switching around. But we're going to make sure we're going to aquascape uh, each tank identical with Marco's rock. It's already a dry rock. It's dead, so it's pest-free. Is great. And then what we're going to do is we've got to go through the whole cycle as well. We're going to add the sand. We're going to add the water. And we're going to mix the salt together with the D&D salt. H2O so we can learn a little bit of that salt and uh, get it into these tanks. So it's a few things is the processes we're going to do here. It's very important because I want to see you guys succeed and I want to see this uh, rig su succeed as well. It's very important. So any of the newcomers and new hobbyists coming into this, hopefully this will help you. We're all going to start from scratch. So if you're starting a tank as well, let's do everything the same. Let's start off with all the plumbing and we're going to do the, you know, mixing the water. We're going to be adding all the equipment and then we're going to do that full cycle and show how, you know, how easy it is so we can get these tanks set up perfectly so you'll succeed as well. Because I see a lot of stuff going on, you know, oh, my water's not good, why am I getting all these algae blooms, what's taking place? So if we follow this whole process, anybody should be able to do a whole tank build. And it's very important, guys. You want to be very successful. For all the marine animals that we're going to put in here, we have to look after them and respect them. So we want to make sure and give them the best environment as we can. So those are some of the basics we're going to do on this rig build. It's going to be lots of fun. Hopefully you guys follow me on this journey for a year. We're going to have a great time. We're going to watch these tanks take off. And there's going to be a lot of different things happening. You're probably wondering why. Why is this guy setting up three identical 60-gallon tanks? Well, you got to make sure and tune in because you never know what's going to happen. All right. So next week, let's get that plumbing started. Let's get it, this system working perfectly so we have a successful system. So hopefully you guys turn in next week. Please subscribe and hit the like button.